It wasn't until this fall that I really thought that she became closer to the player that I believed that she could be. I thought that we started putting skill heavily together with athleticism. And you've got four. You've got to lock her down, Quish. Okay, lock her down. She wasn't satisfied with just being the best athlete in the state. She wanted to be the best player. And so to put work with athleticism is really rare. And that's one of the things I'm most proud of. This is Spirit 52, recapturing the real spirit of high school sports in Arkansas. Presented by Gatorade and First Security Bank. Inspiring us all to what's possible. Junior guard Marquisha Davis is leading the 7A West and scoring this season, averaging more than 20 points a game, but she's not originally from the northwest corner of the state. I've been playing basketball since the third grade when I played in McGee for the Boys Girls Club. Her Twitter says straight out of McGee. She's proud of that. She's proud of being from McGee, but she's in Springdale, Arkansas, chasing her future. That future she's chasing looks bright as she was named a nominee for the Arkansas Gatorade Player of the Year Award earlier this season. To open that email, I sent Marquisha a text and I said, get here right now, it's urgent. I wanted to see her reaction because she deserves this. I feel like it's under, but I want to uh, thank my teammates for pushing me to practice yeah. and coach pushing me too. The emotion was overwhelming because I go back in my mind about some of the great players that I've known and the success they've had at the next level. Very soon we're going to be sitting there and clapping and saying, man, I used to coach her. Davis earning that honor not just because of the numbers she's putting up, but in the way she's doing it in jaw-dropping fashion. She has scored in a variety of ways, and I've not seen many people in the state of Arkansas that when Marquisha decides to go score that can keep her from scoring. The block against the backboard against Heritage last year, she jumped up and blocks a shot that no one else on the team would ever have thought to block. You can't explain how she does it or what she's doing. She's fallen on the floor and still makes it. She had a thigh bruise forever and I just told her, well it's not your fault that when you jump everybody's heads at your thigh. But it is fun every once in a while to turn up the volume and hear the oohs. And uh, we joke with her, when you hear the ooze, you better make the shot. Marquisha, I have one timeout. So if you can't get it in, timeout. I'm going to be honest with you. Marquisha is the most special talent I've ever seen in my 15 years. What's possibly the most unbelievable part about it is that she's having all this success on the court this season while dealing with tragedy off the court. At Springdale, we're family. And anybody can tell you that one of the things we take great pride in is that if our players need us, we're here, not just on the floor. With the stuff she's been through this year, like you have haven't seen it on the floor, then she doesn't care about the outside world. I got that text. There's a moment I had to step back and refocus for my team. But my heart was hurting for her. To watch a young lady whose dad passed away, to see her the next weekend go to a funeral, and then to come back and perform for her team. Who does that? Not very many people that I know. She just went through some of the hardest times in her life and she's not upset. She doesn't show it in practice. She hasn't cried around any of us. Marquisha's had personal struggles this year and we have went through a lot together. And I think the amazing thing about Marquisha is that all this stuff that's happened to her this year, she's even more focused than ever. Let's go Marquisha, let's go. Let's go buddy. Have fun out there, let's go, be you. When the day comes where I'm watching her run up and down the floor on a D1 level, she's gonna have one heck of a fan. I hope you enjoyed this week's story brought to you by First Security Bank. Here's a sneak peek at next week's episode. Coming up next week on Spirit 52, we feature Fayetteville sophomore guard Kariah Beck and the relationship she shares with her dad, former Arkansas Razorback national champion point guard Corey Beck. 